local recording starting the stream we are live live and in charge what's going on new game in order thumb thrasher gaming and geeking out fans this is the triforce coming together and the joint production as you see their logos proudly displayed on our intermission screen we're gonna get everything started so stand back sit back and enjoy the intro New Game of Order brought to you by Fullscreen.net. They are partners. Make sure you check them out. Let's power up the reactor. Let's get it off and popping. Intro brought to you by Michael Hurdle of MichaelHurdle.com. Make sure you check him out for your graphic design needs. All right, we are back. Like I said. This is a triple joint venture with the uh, the crew, as we call it. We'll, we'll come up with a funny, you know, gaming horseman or something. I don't know. Why? But, Why? But, Why? But, shut up. But in any case, I'm going to give uh, Newt, Mr. Thumb Thrasher Gaming himself, quick intro. What's going on, brother? What is going on, man? I'm glad to be back and glad to be black. I was gonna say that too. Dang, you took my thunder, me. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, <laughs> but um, geeking out, Mr. Shinwar. He's a cool dude. What's going on, brother? Hey, what's going on, man? All Happy right. to be back. He's All a right. cool dude. What? <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, <laughs> uh, wow. I, I can't, yo. I can't. All right, so. New Gaming Order, Audience, Thumb Thrasher Gaming, and Geeking Out. We are coming together to bring you this um, this special. Now, um, make sure you check out Geeking Out's production. And uh, I did do a production like earlier today, but it's still rendering at my work computer. And I don't know why it's not up and running, but I'm going to try not to repeat too much. But um, the conversation Shinwar and I was uh, like very real, very organic in the moment. So that's why I wanted to air that because he had some funny reactions to some of the news in comparisons to Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. But for right now, we're just going to lightly dabble on the breaking news from Dragon Ball Fighters. That's, uh, you know, character reveals, game modes. And, you know, where I want it to be different from the other uh, productions is to do a compare and comparison as you know how Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite is going to stand up to this game because um, Dragon Ball Fighters is shaping up to be a titan this thing is going to do some serious damage in terms of sales and actually being that it's out going to be out on Steam PlayStation 4 Xbox and the Xbox One X enhanced version all right but with that being said it is confirmed that Android 18 Android 16 will be playable in Dragon Ball Fighters. Um, Shinwa and I were talking earlier. Um, there's a debate whether 17 will be a, a playable character. Uh, I don't know if it's a popularity thing as to why, you know, I hope he's playable at some point. But I think that where he's being treated like um, Yun, how he was treated in uh, Capcom's Fighters Jam. Where he was, oh no, CVS, where he was just a support character, so to speak. But, you know, uh, I just wanted to get the staff's um, thoughts on this because now with those, the androids being uh, revealed, you know, is this a good thing or a bad thing for the roster? And how will that give that momentum going forward into, you know, the release of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite? Because a lot of. The news is strategically being put to take attention away from Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. So, Smart Brother, what are your thoughts on Android 16 and 17 being confirmed? Dragon Ball D Fighters is going to be, and Alex is using Alex's favorite word, a juggernaut for quite a few reasons. One huge benefit that they have is that there's a cult following for the, for the, the television series. Mm -hmm. Another thing is, it's been a rare occasion that they put out a bad game. I'd probably say out of the probably PS1 up until now, they probably got about what, 10 games, maybe one or two were like, eh, 
but they they're known for putting out quality products. And then you have the popularity of um, who's making it, the Guilty Gear people. What's yeah, the name Arc, that Arc Systems works. You got that popularity, you know, and Guilty Gear is not as accessible. I think it, that game's a little tough at times, um, learning curve wise. This one doesn't seem like it's going to be that tough of a learning curve. And it's like they pick the sweet spot. You got new consoles coming out next. They're making it available across all platforms. And, and that's yeah. what's going to help it sell. Like, that's why Tekken 7 outsold Street Fighter uh, 5. In two months, what took Street Fighter V a year and some change to do, you know? So, eh, I, I, I don't know. That's a it's another, yeah, that's another conversation for another day. But um, Shinwar, what are your thoughts on uh, the androids being announced for uh, the game? Yeah, like I said in in my video that I did earlier, uh, I'm pretty sure Seventh will be playable. Mm -hmm. um but according to the scans and how it's translated you know it's pretty much he's like an attack for android 18 or an assist character for android 18 similar to how ultron can call out his drones uh as an attack and they're assisting him um that though those were guaranteed i was not thinking that 16 was going to be in you yeah, know, it's that one was of those surprised. things where it's like, yeah, it's like you have 17, 18, which are pretty much, you know, mainstays, but you're not thinking, oh, Android 16, you know, let's put yeah. him in there. So that, that's definitely shock, a shocker. But mm -hmm. I'm also thinking about the story in the game, you know, if they do like the older games, how they go through the uh, the different uh, sagas. So mm -hmm. if you have, if you have the Cell Saga, obviously, Android 16, even though he's dead as of right now, back then he was crucial to uh, the final part of Gohan going Super Saiyan level 2 when he died. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that that's in the game. So he plays his part. You know, hey, the more characters, the better. Better. So, yeah. yeah. Now, speaking of more characters, um, Shinwa and I were discussing uh, in our earlier conversation that Arc Systems is known for having X or EX version of characters in Guilty Gear so like if you're holding start you'll get like a remix version of the characters and it was revealed today that Super Saiyan Blue or Super Saiyan yeah Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and Goku are confirmed for this game now I hope they're treated like X version of the characters they should not take up another slot Arc Systems, you guys are having momentum going into this. You're doing everything right, with the exception of 17 being a support character. I think that 18 and 17 should be able to switch. So, like, they should treat them as one character. Hold kicks to play 17, hold punch to, to play 18, or something like that, you know. But, with uh, Super... I, 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 hold on, I disagree with that what? one. I feel like 17... Is is definitely a popular character to yeah. be able to stand on his own, and he should have his own set, own character slot without holding the, the three kicks. He's too. He's especially you know everybody knows the battle he did with Piccolo. Yeah. Um. But now, and I mean, outside of GT with Super Seventeen, currently now with uh Dragon Ball Super, like yo, those last few episodes with Seventeen, that guy, yo, he's he that dude is is the truth, man. I'm like yeah, they no. they need to make sure that if they're gonna bring the characters, some people are gonna want to play a 17. Now yeah. I get it that they're twins, and but like they have a distinguishable like techniques. Like 17 has the uh, the force barrier, 18 we don't really see that. You know what I mean? So I, I I think that they can do it right. Treat it like Yun and Yang from Third Strike or Ryu and Ken. Like make them different but still the same. Yeah. You know. But um, I'm thinking too, if they're going to go with the androids, they can go with Dr. Jero and uh, 19. What, what do you yeah. think? Uh, 16 is in there. I mean, I, I don't see why not. For story purposes, yes. But I feel like I, I got two of the main popular androids in. Personally, for me, I think mm -hmm. it's enough. 
Okay. That's, that's just my opinion. I'm like, okay, now you got 16, 17. If that's the case, then they might as well throw the three androids in from the movie and give me, um, what's his name? Super, um... 13? The blue android. Super 13. Might as well throw them all in. But, mm. you know, you got to look at, um core characters and what makes sense you just don't want to put characters four characters what? In, or, or a la dragon ball the old older dragon ball games <laughs> you know, game was, you know, not playing the with same them. character the same character yeah, six times six times yeah yeah super yeah. saiyan super saiyan 2 goku super <laughs> saiyan 2 goku <laughs> and he was a different character slot like you know i don't know yeah Bodokai I mean, messed that I up mean, man. How many characters you think we gonna get? Like, what what should be the determining factor of putting someone in versus not? I mean, care of popularity or what? Or well, I from, the way I understand it, they're doing it in a way where it, it's gonna fit a unique mechanic of the game. You know what I'm saying? So, like, Boo, you see how he fights? Like, yeah, everybody for right now, like the base of the game plays the same. But by the time it comes out, like you see how Zangief plays a certain way and he fits a certain character type, so to speak. So I think that they're picking characters that they can embellish what they look like and translate into their gameplay. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, if you're going to have a 16 in there, he's probably going to run, move a little slower. You know, it might have more damaging moves or he'll have the self-destruct or the removable arms and the guns, that kind of stuff. You know? And then also yes. iconic, you know, what's the most iconic? That's why they went with the Super Saiyan version of the Saiyans. So they don't have the black hair, you know, they're coming in Super I Saiyan. still don't agree with that. I think yeah, that I it should be like the way that Xenoverse handled it. I think oh. that it should be like that. You know, have them power up to get to that level. Because, you know, those who are familiar with the anime, they, you're going to have little kids like, why is his hair black? Like, well, that's how he is. You know, you got to start explaining stuff, you know. But here's my thing. Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta need to be treated like Golden Frieza. Like, uh, allow them to transform into that. You know what I mean? Switching it up as their own character is going to be really, 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 really dumb. That's going to take points away from it, you know. Well, unless they treat it like an evil when you own it. Yes. Yeah. When, but when that's that still character slots I, and you know i didn't like that i i, I hated that but I, think, but I think realistically them going straight to super saiyan because think about it are you really ever going to play his regular black hair goku why would well, you? well you know what in all fairness transformations yeah yeah in all fairness like um shout out to um what, that look like during the match, though? what say again go ahead Alex. Yeah, um, what I'm saying is to shout out to my Mugen brothers, my programmers out there, Bathazar and the Dragon Ball Z um, 2D project, um, Hyper Dragon Ball Z. You play as, um, you know, it, it, but you see, they're separated because of the way the, the uh, Hyper Dragon Ball and the uh, Mugen engine is. Like, you have to make them separate characters. Like, if they do, like, a transformation thing, it'll be, like, a color change. Or is this the limitation of the Mugen engine, which won't allow it to do that? But right here, it can be done. You know, the, the Unreal 4 engine, like, the, the, there's no reason. They have more assets and resources than, you know, us uh, uh, independent Mugen uh, creators can make. So, yeah, I think that they should have had the black hair. And when you get to Super Saiyan level, it's like a sense of achievement. You earn it, just like in Xenoverse. But here's the thing. So, like, when you look at the older Marvel games, like when Zangief transformed into Mecha Zangief, mm -hmm. or even, even Ryu and Or Sakura. Yeah, or Ryu, when he transformed into Ken and, and Akuma. Yeah. That, that was perfect and you can switch to whatever forms you had and you know what it took away from the super meter so you had to use meter to use it and you got seven meters so what's, what's it gonna do to you you know what I mean yeah, like, I, I, I think that would have been great but it is what it is you know I'm, got it um, yeah but, well, I, okay yeah, I was gonna say I like that they picked 16 because when I'm looking at the scan right now for those of you watching the stream he looks fantastic I love the way that they designed him to not just look like a big, aloof, d goofy android. He looks like, you know, a, a badass. I, I like what they did with him. You know, he's still 16, 
but with that whole sleek arc system look to him you know yeah i think the characters are very faithful to the anime they oh. they arc system did a great job with the art direction yeah now now you know um aside from that we were having our wish list and uh w you know we we're talking about um tien uh yamcha a couple others i don't know if yamcha will make the cut because if you he'll be there he'll, he'll be well, if you think gonna... about it all right krillin and i was and i were talking earlier which i is in production and we're waiting for that render to go through krillin is leaps and bounds stronger than yamcha right now so i think that krillin will serve that role uh, as you know, from the turtle hermit dojo oh, type stuff. The wolf gang fist, you guy. You need to put the wolf gang fist in. Well, if that's the case, <laughs> if if that's the case, I think that they need to have Master Roshi also. That's fine. I you would know. take Master Roshi. You take Master Roshi? Okay, I I I think that'd be cool too. But uh, Yamcha, though, yeah, Yamcha. Just, he the, here's the thing with Yamcha. He don't have any. He doesn't have. I mean, the Wolf Fang Fist is cool, and the other thing he does with when he controls the energy ball. Yeah. Energy ball. That's cool, but like his character, his his character hasn't had me in not, uh, enough love in the series. I don't think. Nah, nah, are, yo, he's like, he could be like a joke character like that. Like Jerkule. What, hey, 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 what, hey, what if they pull Hercule in? Oh, uh, you know what? They better not. They better not do that. Uh, they gotta put Hercule in there with the jet pack on his back, yo. Wow. He can't fly. <laughs> Shut up. But you see, <laughs> now you know with the character uh, wish list. Now that we went into the whole, um, you know, universal tournament, like obviously Hit has to be in there. You know, um, Jurian. Maybe he might show up. Uh, maybe you know the the new Saiyans, the three Saiyans from Universe uh, Six. I mean, this is gonna be oh. some some interesting stuff going on. You know what I mean? Like how that now that infinite possibilities of what they can put in there is gonna be some good stuff. Now my my question Thanks. is the movie characters like Bojack, Brawly, Turles, like you know, right. will will they make it? DLC. Hmm. It's possible, but I think for right now they're gonna focus on just the anime and not the movies. Uh, and you know what they should do though? If they're gonna do it, they should put people in their specific arcs, and then like they could name the DLCs, you know, the the Boo Saga arc DLC, and then add like characters from the Boo Saga that they went in see or stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, if they're yeah, gonna yeah. do a uh, rollout. Well, I mean, they're doing that. Yeah, like they're doing that with Xenover. Yeah, yeah. Oh shoot! I like um, cause I want to see Janemba. I like Janemba. I like um, uh, what's the dude, the blue guy that came out with Majin Buu? Debaru, what's his name? Debora. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I forgot about yeah. Debora was 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 hardcore, man. I think that you know the fact that he could spit on you and turn you into stone. That can be a technique or like a scorpion, no, a sub zero freeze mm -hmm. me mechanic type thing. So yep. you know, Arc Systems, if you if you're listening, Deborah would definitely uh, be pretty cool in that uh, you know in the roster. You know, put the whole Ginyu Force in there too, yo, Raccoon, yo, that, gotta that, have. That, we Raccoon, said that, the, yo, uh, me and Shimar said that, like you know, and it's funny. Quick um sidebar. The Ginyu Force, are they the opposite of the Pride Troopers? Because it kind of... Yeah, almost. Yeah. Alright, yeah. Uh, the stance and everything. Yeah, you know, what the heck? And then they had that Power Ranger pose down thing and then freaking... Uh, Alright, but... Uh, yeah, you were going to say something, Shamar? Yeah, I can see Hit being in the game and being very counter-heavy, like a Geese Howard. Oh. Because oh. he used the time skip. That I can see. Interesting. You know, I wonder how they're gonna do that. That's the other thing that makes this game very interesting is that, and they're smart in that in the cartoon and I mean the anime rather, they took their time and they crafted a fighting style for every character. So when it translates into a video game, they're truly extremely different. And despite their power level differences, like you know we saw krillin hanging in there with goku because of the techniques and the style that he used and it, you won't feel like 
say just because someone has Super Saiyan Blue. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. before in the older games, it was like they just didn't couldn't get it right. It's like there was no point in picking anybody else because you weren't powerful enough. Mm-hmm. But I feel like with the way they have it now and the way they've evolved the characters, it makes more sense now. Mm. Okay. Now, uh, moving, shifting gears into game modes. Um, the comparison that I want to uh, make is the fact that <sighs> Shinwa called it. Sh- shut up. Shinwa called it. This game will support six player online co op or like a uh, lobby system where, similar to the Cross Fever mode. To the next level that was exclusive to the Dreamcast version of Marvel vs. Capcom 1, where Shinwa and I had uh, developed a rhythm when we actually, I don't think we lost as a team, um, like locally. Like we were uh, going around to different stores, like that was the beginning of what became like the concept for uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. But Considering all that that can be done has been done in the past, Calera does did that for King of Fighters, um, two thousand two was it? Uh, well, two thousand three, but pretty much all of them. Yeah, like online, everybody was able to control a character. So, like, you can have Thumb Thrasher Gaming, New Gaming Order, geeking out, literally, legitimately on a team fighting the computer or we could do friday night fights where we're fighting the fans and taking well, out well, mitches and mitchettes we, well hold on hold on we don't uh, confirm that you can oh. take on the computer it'd be great i think that's a great wish list but yeah. right now the party mode is is been announced for 3v3 so what the hardy mode the three the three of us if we team up it would be against three other other people but i think if arc systems is smart to put it in where the three of us could fight the computer i don't think that's ever been done mm, i don't think true. it has online yeah. online that hasn't been what done. three on three no 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 three versus one so let's say if we want all three of us could team up to fight the computer if we wanted to mm-hmm. yeah i mean and, and like i was saying earlier in the other production that that can be seen as like um, how xenoverse is treated where you go into a party of three you go uh, objectives and things like that so i think that's gonna be we're on some some good stuff um blazing what's going on man thank you for uh, checking out the uh podcast all right that's uh, this is awesome crapcom got some competition because marvel versus capcom infinite not really feeling it too much you know what you're saying what a lot of people are saying blazing you know it's uh you know apparently shinwar uh, had mentioned this to me earlier that mode where the 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 party system or the you know the six players in in one fight marvel versus capcom infinite will not feature this but you have marvel versus capcom one on the dreamcast have it how is it in 2017 well all the resources we have and a game like street fighter cross tekken that was able to do this not have it in a 2017 game Shinwar, can you explain this to me? Yeah, I, I don't understand it, bro. I feel like like the last game that had it, Capcom, was Street Fighter Cross Tekken. And, I mean, they had it where they had it uh, Mugen style, where you could have all players on the screen at the same, same time. So, it makes no sense. I mean, they, okay, let's just go back. They dropped the ball already with Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 by not having it there. And then you go back to the 2v2 format, why aren't you capitalizing on that? Everybody's like, oh, online, unite your friends, da 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 That's the perfect opportunity, right there. Yeah, I, I don't know. That doesn't make sense to me at all. I mean... Now, ho- hold on. Remember, Alex, at the break, this was a long time ago. I believe they had... you. It was me, you... I think uh, Anomaly was there, and I think they had DOA 2 on the big screen with four players. Yeah, 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 we were fighting each other, yeah. Bro, come on, come on. Yeah, that that was sick, bro. That was sick. And I was sitting there, I said, why can't this, like, be the norm right now? Like, this, this is crazy, man. Like, you know, it's just, I don't know if it's a lack of effort or Capcom's inability to make these things happen because... 
Now, I, I was saying, I kind of feel that it's not Ono-san, it's not uh, Combo Fiend, it's the investors. They're trying to, like, crap out something, like, real quick, like, quick gratification. And I believe that what's going to end up happening, that's going to really ruin Capcom's product. It's going to ruin Capcom's product. And then I, I, I'm, I fear for them, like, you know... And I said, if anybody's going to take the crown from Arc Systems, it, it's going to be... Or from Capcom, it will be Arc Systems. You know? Like, it, it's, just, it's just sad, man. Like, I feel they're not putting the effort anymore. You know? What do you think about that, Noob? Because if you look at it, look at what Guilty Gear, look at what King of Fighters, content rich, a lot of that is free. You know, and Capcom is trying to really get that piecing the game out, and and uh, like the old niners, like they don't understand that what Capcom used to be. You know, and a lot of us that yeah. paid Capcom our hard-earned money, you know, we are the ones that put Capcom in a position to 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 do what they're doing. You know what I mean? Have we not supported them? And now it's like that they're being so damn greedy. It, it, it makes me sick. You know, but. <sighs> I think competition drives effort. Um, Arc Systems is going to make Capcom step up their game. Um, right now, Street Fighter V, it's where it is. Tekken 7, you know, almost like what, doubling, tripling the output of, of, of sales wise? You know? I mean, everything for this game, they're doing it right. It's multi console. It's gonna have a, a, a lot of co-op, a lot of fun replay value. On the online lobby system, like Guilty Gear, to the next level is gonna be some good stuff. They can only see to get some great things. And Noob, you said it best. Like I said uh, to Shinwa earlier, that on the merit of the success of Dragon Ball Super, which is hot right now, and to to you know complement it with a fighting game like this. I think this is the only reason why this fighting game even exists right now or is in the development, you know? But uh, as far as that, yeah, go ahead. And I was about to say, and you got, you still got Xenoverse going strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. And, and the other thing, the other advantage that they have is Dragon Ball is heavily story driven. Like, if they wanted to, they could kind of pull what Forza does. Like, Forza has Horizon and then they have Motorsport. Horizon is more of an arcade, a little bit crazier driving, whereas Motorsport is more of the refined track racing. Same series, same quality, two different experiences. Just like you have Xenoverse, which is yeah, like yeah, 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 and, and friendly playing, and then you have this new one, 2D straight up. And because me and Shinwa said the same thing about Xenoverse too. We don't like the verses in that game. I don't want. I don't. I mean, I like the playing the computer, but like playing another person, it just feels weird. Even yeah, that's that cheap. is how it is in the cartoon. It just doesn't train. I don't think it translates very well to a video game. However, my favorite two D, my favorite Dragon Ball games were like the Budokai series. Budokai Three so, was the best, was, baby. That was really good. So, and and it's like you said, you know, these companies, man, y'all are killing them. And y'all are giving people like Arc Systems room to grow. You're giving people like um, SNK. King of Fighters has been really popular, man. I hear more about King of Fighters than Street Fighter V. And I tried True Statement. Anybody what? who's making the fight game, two player features are important. Like you said, the Alex and um, Shinwar to have those, you know, little players control um, a character on one team. But again, I go back to King of Fighters 13 and look at all the game modes, arcade mode, survival mode, story mode, um, time attack, like all those modes. Oh, yeah, yeah. In there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That game had, it, that game, Super Nintendo era or the PlayStation 2 era where you had all those offline modes as well as a rich online world, well, their online wasn't all that. But if you were to take those offline modes and combine it, mode survival mode was how i learned how to play fighting games yeah i don't yeah. even have that anymore yeah. yep yep yeah like i would say that, that Street Fighter used to have it. remember vanilla they had it and then they took it out they took it out yeah well two on vanilla that young was hard yeah, yo. no, oh, i found the uh sidebar with that how to get past it you pick zangi bam the lariat yeah computer would always fall for it 
Like, <laughs> all right, but with that, um, I would say this: Arc Systems is in a good position to really make a change. The only reason why I also see that they probably won't ever truly take the crown from Capcom is because Capcom yeah. is all tied up with the esports. Like, Evo is a revolve around Street Fighter; it's always the main event, you know. So, if they can get on that level. Capcom is the godfather of fighting games. So we have to also remember, had they not took that venture back in 1986 to, you know, build on what Karate Fighter uh, in the arcades like laid the foreground for, we wouldn't have Dragon Ball Fighters. So I still respect what Capcom has done for the legacy of things, but times change. And like Roman Reigns said on the Raw after WrestleMania, this is my yard now that Mitch so uh, wow. and, but, but I mean with Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite uh, I, I guess I'll try to lump it into one um, broadcast I feel Alex, that Alex you're breaking up oh, can you hear me now well, yeah, yeah it's, it, I know what it is hold on let me close some things oh sound like lawnmower man yo can't hear you yeah, well it's the discord I think that has a lot to do with it um, but I wanted to, you know, kind of touch lightly without uh, going too long with this broadcast that um, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, it, it seems like it's, it's light on modes. It, it's going to be just like Street Fighter V. You know, like you have um, your arcade mode, I guess story mode, training mode, and uh, what, that versus? Shimon, can, if, if you can correct me if I'm wrong. Yo, SNK, I'm listening. Can y'all make King of Fighters 13 backwards compatible on Xbox One? Thanks. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, that's when I had to buy that mess on um, freaking Steam. No, that was that game deserved the hype that the new one got. Well, this is true. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I'm right, a hand drawn with, character. With MVCI, um, what do they have? Okay, so they have story mode, arcade mode. Mission mode, training, versus player 2, versus CPU, and collection. That's all the offline modes. Online mode, you have rank match, casual match, beginner's league, which is a special league fought between players of rank 14 or lower. You have lobby, rankings, and replay settings. So there is no indication of 2v2 co-op party, party mode. Mm. Terrible. And they had it before Dreamcast Cross Fever mode, man. What's going on? Oh, breaking news: New game in order at Geeking Out and Thumb Thrasher Gaming. Apparently, Xkira just finished data mining some of the information. I know. Yeah, it's like literally. Dark j- mode for January. Yeah, it just popped up on Event Hub like what was that nine minutes ago? So if you're watching the the broadcast live. Uh, we're I guess the first to kind of do like a live chat on it unless uh, you know Vesper or anybody else decides to chat on it but uh, let's take a look um, we're so ready to smash some cars and break some barrels all right uh, you tell me where arcade mode is okay Eskira revealed some of his recent data mining via Facebook and it seems as though Street Fighter 5 arcade mode may just be a few months away um, now looking at this oh damn he really went into the weeds with this uh, let me uh, I guess put the line of code page that Xkira extracted but you know what Shimwa, remember we were talking about the what was lost when we were growing up and having things surprise us now we got people data mining things and we can't even like get like a true like ooh ah wow factor you know it's like we know everything now Oh, they released it on PC. That's what they get. Wow. Okay. So, uh, some of it's in another language. Arcade mode. It looks like it's in Spanish. (laughs) Yeah. All right. Oh, English. Uh, Well, I have new information on arcade mode, but oh, okay. This is Facebook stuff. Uh, Okay. Arrives in January 2018. It's gonna be a DLC mode, obviously. All right. Well, that's it's cryptic. It, it, it didn't give much, but he says it's coming. So, yes. Yeah, so make sure you check out eventhubs.com. Uh, the news is just breaking. 
Um, that's interesting, you know. Here's my thing. The the barrels and crushing the car and all that stuff for arcade mode. Th does anybody still want to play that kind of stuff? Uh, I'll start with Nuke. Uh, those bonus modes like that? Yeah. Um, I like, I like them because they pay... And you want them. ...where you came from. You know what I'm saying? Like, you had them in the old school games. I mean, does it make or break the game? No, but it's kind of like a signature. And kind of like, for me, K in KOF, the signature for me is those taunts, yo, and the interactions of the characters. It's like, it gives the game its own little twist and spin. Is it a huge deal? Not really, but I like the fact that it's one of those classic things. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool, cool. Shinwar, your thoughts on um, the arcade mode and possible bonus stages? Well, uh, do, do people still want to play arcade mode with a game that's hard to been out for like two years? Oh, yeah. Ooh, uh, yeah. Two, yeah, kind of a little late, but never late than never. And then two for the bonus modes. Yeah, you know, I think it's great, especially when you have like two players and you're beating up on a car. You know? Um... I feel like I've always Question for y'all too when you finish. I've always felt like the bonus modes were like breathers when you're playing arcade mode. So let's say like you fight three people in a row, bonus round. Next three people, bonus round, and then you got like two fights to the end. So I always felt felt that like it was a breather, you know? Yeah, 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 so. yeah. And you know what? I I think that. If they're gonna do bonus stages, go all the way. Pay homage to Street Fighter One, where you had to do like Bloodsport and the Dim Mock, and you had to hit the button, and Ryu went up for the like chop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, or um, wasn't there wasn't there a a, a bonus stage in Street Fighter Two or Super Street Fighter Two on Zangief stage where the barrels were on fire, and yeah. you could jump and do stuff like you 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 only saw it that one time and never again. You know, so. But remember the remember the brick breaking one. That's where I learned how to do the show you can. Oh yeah, me too. Me too. Oh, yeah. See Capcom. Oh. Listen, I hopefully I'm gonna put this in Capcom community or something. There's a reason or that you know you had some folks the sense of discovery, like when you finally practice your show you can on the bricks in Street Fighter Two. You're like, oh, I can finally do it. They don't have that now. It's like, oh yeah, here's a trial mode and figure it out. You know, we had to sharpen our sword. You know what I mean? We had to really refine our skin back in the day. And and it's just, you know. But last but not least, the roster for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite um, is been put out. Um, we're, I'm looking at event hubs right now. And Blazing, you can check it out. Uh, I'm going to scroll through everything as best I can. So, Shinwa, we're at 30 characters for a launch, correct? Mm-hmm. Now, with that, um, on Capcom side, we have Strider, Arthur, Spencer, Zero, Mega Man X, Jetta, Chris Redfield, Dante, Ryu, Chun Li, Morgan, Frank West, Hagar, Nemesis, and Firebrand. I was hoping for Captain Commando or something like uh, a lot of the characters are being reused. I'm sorry. Uh, we could have had like Cody from Final Fight or, you know, uh, the guy from freaking Magic Sword, uh, the, the Barbarian guy. I mean, Capcom has a well of characters that they could have gone to to put in there. But having people like Morgan has been in almost every Versus game and she was even in CVS 2. And wh why was she in CVS 2? You know what I'm saying? Like, or, uh, She's on Capcom side. Wow. I mean, Dimitri has yet to show up in in a versus game yeah. you know what i mean donovan uh john tolbain like you know <laughs> you have a whole I'm still the, advocating for Sagat, yo. Well, well yeah nah, I'm, the guy moved too slow for them games yo. no but zangief zangief was able to hang in Del sim and marvel superheroes versus That's street true. fighter so i mean it can be done they can adapt them to the system well. but oh, i'm wow. ranting right now like captain commando should have come back for this game they put Strider in there with the quickness, you know what I mean? And they had licensing issues with even using the character. So, I right, come on now, like, mm. But, in any case, uh, the, on the Marvel side, we have Rocket Raccoon, Doctor Strange, Hawkeye, Gamora, Ultron, Captain America, Iron Man, Thanos, Nova, oh, wait, 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 Nova, well, yeah, well, Nova, 
uh, Hulk, uh, Captain Marvel, Thor, Spider-Man, The Marvel, and Ghost Rider. Hmm. Again, there's other characters that could have made the roster. There's Silver Surfer. There's some Fantastic Four folks. Uh, I mean, and, and don't even get me started on Marvel's side of the house. They have um, a whole vault, decades and decades of, of, but we know everything is for the, the, the Marvel Cinematic <laughs> Universe. Disney uh, has a lot to do with picking the roster. So, but I just want to get Shinwar's feedback on the the character rosters from Capcom and Marvel who we you know whoever he wanted to see and then noob and then we'll start bringing this thing to a close all right all right I think why people uh, including myself have bashed the game in regards to the lackluster roster is because Capcom went on record and said this is somewhat a reboot it's not MVC 4 this is MVC Infinite. So we're thinking, oh, well, this is almost like a fresh plate. We're going to get fresh new faces. And that's not the case. If honestly, it, it looks like, I'm not going to say feels, but it looks like it's Ultimate MVC 3.5 Remix. Feels like it's a remix. Wow. Mm. Yeah. But not to say that the dlc characters which you can clearly see they're holding they're holding the big the big guns they're holding these characters yeah black panther is going to be dlc why couldn't he have just been in the game okay so DLC well he, he'll, he'll come out by the time uh black panther's movie comes out probably you, you're absolutely right probably so you know i mean writers cool that's fine but then i'm like okay i'm like seeing chris R Dante. All right, so apparently these guys are going to be mainstays for Capcom. But then it makes me think back to the older versus games where starting at MVC1 and then, well, even though, okay, X Men versus Street Fighter. Yeah. And then obviously you had X Men characters and then Marvel superheroes. So there was a little change up in variation. By the time you got to MVC2, you had the all those characters and only two new characters. No. About four new characters was in mm -hmm. MVC 2. So, you know, you get to Marvel and it's like, okay, you got Frank West. It's like, I just played with that guy in Ultimate. So I think when Capcom said, you know, this is a new game, this is not number four, people were thinking, well, it's going to be fresh and new. And no, we got, you know, rehash. pretty much the rehash from the last game. Yeah. But you know what? You know what? I think part of that is. Um, the Street Fighter uh, uh, 3 effect, you know, Street Fighter 3, they did that, and a lot of people love the system of that game and the style, but it's like the characters, you didn't really, I personally, that was the worst, that was the worst Street Fighter game to me. Well, you know, they were trying to go for something new, like, you know, that's why it was dubbed New Generation initially, and Sean was supposed to be the only Shoto type character did in the game uh, you know a little history lesson but the backlash in japan was so bad with the location test that Ryu and ken had to be brought back all right and uh it, it's been said on several websites that uh this was uh, street fighter 3 was like street fighter 3 slash dark stalkers it was very dark it was the attack of the freaks type thing and uh you know i get yeah good the difference is with the MVC universe, we know the characters. You know, we know who Black Panther is. So if you give us a bunch of different people, we know who they are. Street Fighter Three, we never seen them. We're like, where are our beloved characters? We don't. And then you had really didn't have a storyline, so it's like, where the hell did they come from? Type deal. But you do um, know, you do know that they kind of bounce back from that by how you got people wanting to see Crimson Viper, wanting to see Necro, and so on and so forth. Capcom is doing like Disney and building this universe that when you like finally see Q again or finally see Oro again, you're like, oh snap, you know, welcome them back with open arms. But when they initially are introduced, you're going to have that effect like, who is this guy? You know, you have to grow to love them, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? So, but with but that, do y'all yeah. find it funny that Street Fighter V had no story mode, and now that same company that's making another game makes story mode the focus of a of a different type of game? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, you know what? Before I forget, um, Shinwa told me earlier that the, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters is supposed to have a what if mode, and w in terms of a story of a what if mode, you know how much creative freedom that you know Toriyama and and you know his apprentice who's now the writer from Dragon Ball Super, like that is amazing. They can do so much with this. They could do so much with this. It's gonna be crazy. So I mean, Dragon Ball Fighters is gonna have the story on lock, especially with how Arc Systems deploys their story modes. Like you have the arcade mode, you have this the the in-game story mode, and I think they, there's another like uh, the metal mode where you're getting all the the. St I mean, it's crazy, and it's a branching story mode too. So depending on how, if you hit somebody with a destroy move. Or Astro Finish and uh, Blaze Blue, like it'll like trigger a different event, you know. Street Fighter doesn't have this, and you know what? Let's not um, diss Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat forced Capcom to step up their game with their story mode, and that's why we got a Shadow's Fall uh, the way that we did. But you know, if Capcom, you're gonna do it. You got stiff competition. You're about to catch that F5. But um, real quick, um, Blazing. Damn, they really dropped the ball with that um, one, two perfect characters come to mind on the Marvel side. Blade, Wesley Snipes, Blade. All right. Yeah. And uh, Capcom uh, side, Dimitri from Darkstalkers. That's a story for another day. Now, I do remember Ono um, years ago indirectly said something to the effect that Dimitri plays too much like Ryu and Ken as to why he's not in like the versus games. They, 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 it's been asked, but it was too much of a similarity. I would have wanted to see Donovan in there, or maybe. Well, Victor plays a lot like Zangief. What do you think, Shinwar? Uh, he has different moves. I mean, the thing, only thing they have in common is the lariat. Yeah. But uh, he had the flying knee, and then he had the ground smash thing. Yeah, he could have been in it. You know, but, but then you say that, but then you have a game with Ryu Ken and Akuma in it. They all play differently too. Yeah, well. Yeah, so it's like they're similar, but they're different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the strategies that you have to employ to be successful with them, like Marvel Superheroes versus Street Fighter, Ken was completely different. Inputs were the same, but like, okay, he had a short fireball and his hurricane kick arced upward. So you have to be, you uh, very careful with how you're, you know, spacing yourself and you know utilizing his tools. You know, um, hold on now, uh, Blazing left for lo another. Um, is the Blaze Blue Tag game coming out for Xbox One? I don't know. Um, yeah, you guys know about that Arc System Tag Battle game thing coming out. Like, that looks hype. But the problem with that, it doesn't really have the, how can I say, the, 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 the base. You know, like, you got Capcom already established, Disney already established, Marvel already established. So, a hype game like that, where people don't really know the characters, it's hard to really get behind it, you know, without the exposure outside of Japan. You know, like Persona 5 and all that, like, great looking games, Under Night and Birth, great looking games. But, in the West, folks don't really know them, but I think that, you know, if, if it does come out to Xbox One... It, it has to be something that will be well received in the in the West, uh, Blazing. So um, with that, uh, we're gonna shift gears and start, um, you know, bringing this to a close. But um, Thumb Thrasher, do you have any like closing remarks or anything you would like to see for Dragon Ball Fighters before we, you know, get ready to shut this down? Did I miss the beta? Isn't there gonna be a beta? Uh, the sign ups aren't uh, up yet. They had to delay it. Okay, um, couple things. One, well, I'm not really too worried because they, Arc Systems is known for having a good net code, but I hope the net code is good. Um, oh, it's gonna be alright. Game unlockables, man. I want some, I want some true, you want, I want some true single player stuff. Um, single player stuff, and I want to learn, I mean, I don't know. I like. I would. I want to learn more about some of the other characters. Like, I want to know more about Hit, other than he's an assassin. I, you know, we know the mainstays. We know most of their stories and stuff like that. But I want the story mode to reveal a bit more of the personalities and their motives you know, stuff and stuff like that. Like some of the other people, even if it's brief. I think that you know, that's similar. A, that's a smart idea. They can use this as a story tool 
whatever they don't cover in the anime, use the game to kick that out. What do you think? Mm, nah. What? Nah, not, not, nah. Not for anything canon. Mm-mm. No. Miz Bazanin? You know him? Yeah, he is, is the Miz. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but uh, close to me, Mark. No, I hear what Wait. you're saying, but I, I would just prefer, like, if I'm gonna do that, I would just get fleshed out uh, in, in in the anime. Shut up. Okay. But <laughs> in conclusion, um, you know, anything that um, you know that came through your mind on the different topics of the super show, and you know. Anything that we didn't cover or anything that you want to comment on before we start going into conclusion? Yes, I don't know who, what, when, why, or where, but I think they need to have, I think all these companies need to take a more aggressive approach in polling your audience, you know what I mean? Like, putting out surveys and stuff like that, putting out character surveys or, you know, putting out a list of characters and saying, hey, vote for, your, vote for who you want to see, ask us. Mm, I agree. Clearly, y'all ain't listening. But <laughs> well, I think Dragon I think Ball they are. Do. I think Dragon Ball they are. I, I don't think they it, can mess that mess up. up. Dragon Ball, like you know who's. It's a limited roster. We know who's relevant. We know who's not. We know who's beloved. We know who's not. You know what I mean? And there's there's almost no way they could over saturate the game with characters. Like yeah, because yeah. The, the the show is so. Like I said, the thing that helps them is we. The, the, the show is so rich and has so much history we know the characters whereas the show, the show you know, is used by Mitchie they don't have that it's just like okay well we gotta make you love this person right now in this game right now if not it's not gonna work oh okay you say you gotta you got make them hug this person oh. I would like a collector's edition oh, you know what that I would get it, depending on what they would have and Shinwari would probably pre-order that what <laughs> All right, so um, giving the floor to Shinwar for uh, final remarks, and then we'll go into intermission. But Shinwar, uh, a, a, a little wrap up. What, what what you got for us? What, like anything Dragon Ball related, MVC I uh, related? Any rants that you wanna, you know, take like two minutes to kick out? Uh, I, I I'm gonna save that for the the next segment. Um, hopefully you guys can join me uh, right after this, so we can do one for geeking out. Uh, or just for MVCI. Um, I'm excited for for the games. I do think Dragon Ball uh, Fighters is going to be the better product. And you know, here's the issue: when Capcom put out MVCI, that story mode, I think that was a bad decision. And if if they were gonna do that, they should put out another one, an updated demo, because we're playing an old version of the game. Not only that, it's like they forced the story on you. Some people just wanted to play the game. Right, to get their hands on it while you have other people at convention threes and evils and stuff getting their hands full of the game. And yet, on the East Coast, there's nothing. And by the time, uh, let's say, a New York Comic Con comes out, the game's already out. So, you know, we didn't really, you know, we didn't really get our hands on the game outside yeah. of the st story demo. Okay. Yeah, I did say this on one of my uh, productions. Like, they should have delayed it till after Evil and release not Evil, uh, Comic Con, and release it closer to Thor Ragnarok to kind of, you know, put it together or package it together. You know what I mean? Like uh, October uh, or late October, early November release. You know, because you got Hulk and Thor, they're gonna be on the silver screen together. So why not try to, you know, move that along? But you can't tell the executives what to do so with that new gaming order thank you for checking out uh geeking out dump thrasher gaming and new gaming order here um make sure you rate comment and subscribe i want to thank you guys in the chat shout out to blazing for um you know participating uh with a couple of comments so with that i'm gonna hit you with a juggernaut punch and cancel into a pimp smack We'll see y'all later. Make what? sure you... Hold up. I I'm trying to segue into the next thing. So, uh, new gaming order. We're done for tonight. Uh, make sure you join us on Geeking Out. Um, Shinwar is going to have a production for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. So, 
all three fan bases. Let's make sure we support each other and we'll keep going forward. I'm hitting you with the head crush. See y'all later. Peace.